You did it! You have successfully formulated the perfect beverage. And the world is waiting to imbibe. So you are probably going to need to make a few more. Or maybe a few thousand more. Scaling up your commercial beverage formulation isn't quite the same as doubling your potato salad recipe when you find out Aunt Marge invited all of your cousins to the cookout. There's a bit more math than simple multiplication to properly scale up a beverage from a small batch made by hand in the lab to a large scale manufacturing production. Once you have your scaled up formula, how do you make sure it's going to be the exact same product each time it's made, even if it's at different locations with months between productions? Quality systems, that's how. Quality systems are methods that are put in place to ensure a safe, consistent product throughout production, no matter how much you make. Quality systems breaks down like this. Quality assurance, setting parameters in place to ensure safety and consistency. Quality control, testing the product to affirm it meets the parameters. Then there's equality, but that's a different video. That's a lot of fancy words, but what does it all mean? Well, it means more fancy words. But to strip it down to basics. Quality assurance, the rules. Quality control, making sure the rules are being followed. Essentially, it's Principal Strickland keeping McFly in check. So let's talk about those guidelines. Say you have created a red cherry vanilla soda. You might describe it with terms like bright red, or tart cherry, or hint of vanilla. But that won't cut it in the science and manufacturing world. Specific measurable parameters are established in the blending instructions and product specifications. Like a recipe, but with a lot more math. By meeting these guidelines, the product is guaranteed to be the same across productions. Meaning, the cherry vanilla soda that comes off the production line and onto store shelves is the same tasty treat you've created in the laboratory. It's a tasty so what are these parameters? Mainly, bricks, titratable acidity, pH, and specific gravity. Bricks is the measure of total solids dissolved in a solution, like sugar, acids, or other dry ingredients. It mainly measures sugar levels, so it's the best indicator of sweetness level. And not to be confused with bricks, which are also solid, but don't taste as good. Titratable acidity is the amount of acid in a solution, huh? Let's just say the spell check doesn't even recognize this term. The acid level affects sourness, tartness, and flavor, and guarantees your beverage is safe for consumption. pH is how basic or acidic a liquid is. pH is measured on a scale of 0 to 14, where 7 is neutral, like water, 14 is most basic, like bleach, and 0 is most acidic, like the blood of an alien. Most beverages will fall around a 3, which is acidic enough to prevent microbial growth. Specific gravity is the density of the beverage compared to the density of water. More solids in your beverage, like sugar, will make it denser, whereas alcohol in a beverage makes it less dense. These parameters are set when the beverage is created in the lab. During production, quality control tests the beverage as it comes off the line to make sure everything is in check. To ensure consistent color, aroma, and taste, a standard is sent to the manufacturer that the newly manufactured product will be tested against. If the newly made product does not match the standard, it cannot hit the store shelves. Imagine, somebody gets to drink tasty beverages all day long and get paid for it. Where do I sign up? So now you know, with proper quality assurance and quality control guidelines in place, you should be producing a product that will be safe, consistent, and ready to be enjoyed by all. It's a taste.